following Telcom knockout success and an impressive third-place finish in the league in City's first season after their formation. It was with much surprise that former coach Eric Tinkler decided to part ways with the club just a year in as he made the switch north to join Supersport United. Yet even more surprising was City's decision to rope in Bafana Bafana's all-time leading goal scorer as the new man to lead their team, with McCarthy vastly inexperienced, having only played second fiddle as assistant coach at Belgian club St. Truiden prior to his appointment. Yet his relationship with City boss John Comites, formed when he was still a player at Cape Town Spurs when Comites was the club's chairman, put him in good stead as the Cape-based businessman pulled out all the stops to recruit the South African icon. Amid much fanfare and media hype at the Radisson Blue Hotel in the Cape Town CBD, McCarthy was officially unveiled as the new citizens. Coach on the 13th of June 2017, with the new coach entering the venue's conference room with TKZ's fitting number Shiboba blaring in the background. A year ago today, walked through the conference room doors with TKZ's app number blaring in the background as the former striker was unveiled as the new coach of football. Fabio de Dominicis, at Fabio Didems, taking to the training pitch a few weeks later, McCarthy's first assignment on the bench was a MTN 8 quarter final match up against Polo Quane City, where a Sibusis and Banani own goal saw the coach end his first game in charge victorious, despite losing his voice and admitting to being the most nervous he had ever been in his life before a match. A dream run then followed, with McCarthy winning all five of his first matches in charge, including three consecutive victories over Bidvestwitz and their coach Gavin Hunt, who he had played under as a young striker. At the first time of asking, McCarthy led his side into a cup final, yet the fairy tale run wouldn't end in glory, as City came up short in the MTN 8 decider going down 4-2 on penalties after a 1-1 draw with Supersport United. Three consecutive losses after that final defeat put the citizens under pressure as they were bundled out of the Telcom knockout at the first hurdle, despite being defending champions, yet still managed to maintain their top four position in the league after the first half of the season. Entering 2018 in second place after a 1-0 victory over Mamelodi Sundowns in December. Constantly publicizing his disappointment in his strikers, McCarthy's frustrations in his strike force grew over January and February, with City going 14 games without scoring more than one goal, yet still managed to grind out results as they tackled their league, Nedbank. Cup and CF Confederation Cup fixtures. City's Nedbank Cup campaign ended in the quarter finals after going down 2 to 1 to Mamelodi Sundowns, while failing at the second hurdle to Costa do Sol on away goals in the Confederation Cup. With not much to play for and their top eight apps a premiership position secured. City won just one of their last six league games to end the season in a respectable fifth position in McCarthy's first season at the helm. In all matches across all official competitions, McCarthy's debut season reads as follows, matches, 42 wins, 19 losses, 16 draws, 7 win percentage. 45.2% critics had questioned McCarthy's capabilities as coach, and despite his inexperience and often blunt and candid responses when quizzed about his players, the UEFA Pro licensed coach, with all his experience as a top player, was able to form a cohesive unit at City, with various players repeating their gratitude at working under such an accomplished South African hero. Despite being linked to Scottish club St Mirren, Comedies insists McCarthy is going nowhere and expects him to report for duty on 25 June, when the City squad assemble for pre-season. Interesting fact, 
it took 15 games into his reign for McCarthy to experience his first draw. A 1-1 stalemate against Baroque FC in an ABSA Premiership encounter played in November. What did you make of McCarthy's first season at the helm?